Hello everyone, my name is Matt Brown and I am a solutions architect here at Endor Labs. And in this video, we're gonna go over how to actually scan a project. So we're gonna be scanning a Java app here. Uh, first thing we'll do is install Endor Labs locally on your system. We'll authenticate it. We will clone a repository for you to test and then we'll actually test the project. Since we're gonna be using a Java Maven application, we wanna make sure we have Java installed. So we'll be able to support Java 8 apps, Java 11 through 19, that's no problem. So let's just make sure we have Java, Java version, good, I have 17.0.9. And then of course we wanna do Maven, anything above 3.6.1, we'll be able to support no problem. You can see here I have both Java and Maven. Let's clear that out. Now let's install Endor locally. Now I obviously already have it installed, but depending on your operating system, there's a few ways to do it. So if you have something like Mac OS, you can use Homebrew, you know, you, you can use NPM, whether that be for Mac or Linux. So something very simple, NPM install and or CTL. Or of course, you can just simply use the binary, right? You can curl it down, install it there, or you can go to our GitHub and grab the executable from there to install it. So Mac OS, Linux, Windows, very simple to install. Once we've actually gone ahead and installed Endor locally, then we want to initialize and authenticate it. Again, very, very simple to do. We have a bunch of different authentication modes, but to do it quickly, let's say for example, I authenticated with something like an identity provider like Google or GitHub, GitLab. You can do via email. If you need SSO, we have SSO as well. So to do that, it's just a simple Endor CTL init. You can see here, I've gone ahead and authenticated with my email. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do uh, Google or GitHub, GitLab, like I mentioned before. And to do that, just auth mode equals Google. It'll open up the browser, you'll be authenticated, and you'll be good to go. So now let's kind of check off the list here. We have Java installed, we have Maven installed, we have Endor CTL installed, we have authenticated Endor. Now let's go find a project to actually clone to test. So to do that, go to GitHub. I have a very simple Java demo app here. You're gonna go ahead, copy the Git link, and you're gonna clone it to your repository locally. So do that, it's very simple. Copy the link, git clone, and then go ahead and it will be cloned. Once you do that, you'll obviously go into that directory. I'm already in here and you can see the same application, we have that pom.xml, we have the source code, all that good stuff. Now we wanna do Maven. A quick test I like to do is to actually build out that dependency tree using Maven. So you can do something like this. It's just Maven dependency tree, very simple. I like to do this command just to take a look. And then once you've done that, just gonna install the dependencies. Maven to install. This will actually go ahead, install dependencies, build the application that Maven uses, and we're able to test. So, dependencies have been installed, we've built the application using Maven, now we can actually run a test. So to do that, it's just Endor CTL scan. You can see we're running the test, and with this test you'll get reachability both at the dependency and function level so we'll be able to tell you whether or not your code actually calls or invokes one of the methods or functions that are vulnerable in that third party dependency so we'll just let this run and we're already complete here you can see we get some results and now back in the endor ui if we hit refresh you'll see here the applications here so if we go in, we can see some of the results here. Let's do some attributes. We start with 34 vulnerabilities. Is there a fix available for it? Let's remove the, the test dependencies and let's see what methods or functions are actually reachable. You can see we go from 34 to two. You can see here all the necessary information from Endor, including the call path, which gives you the evidence of what my code is actually calling which is this vulnerability here.
Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions or need any assistance, please feel free to reach out. We'll have other videos that show how to do this for other languages. We'll be, we support reachability for things like .NET, Go, Rust, uh, Python. So keep an eye out for those videos as well. But if you need any assistance or have any questions, please feel free to reach out.